Namaste everyone. Good morning. Let's start our sadhana, our practice for today if you like. Sitting upright with straight spine, chin up. And then gently or softly close your eyes. Just easing, relaxing or stilling, tightening your body, mind and your breath. Coming to our Sukha Sthanam, a sense of stillness or ease from deep within. As we gently moving from our heart, also connecting it with our immunity as well as our lymphatic fluids and working through a little bit of inversions along with our flow, our kriyas. So come to Savitri Pranayam. As the solar rhythm, the Savitri Pranayam is definitely one of the best rhythmic pranayam we can use for quiet sitting, for meditation and aligning our pranavayus and enhancing the polarity. And you can follow any rhythm from 6363 to 126 or even higher. Follow it for nine rounds. Gently bring your hands to your heart into Namaskar and breathe out. Breathe in, take your arms in a big circle to Anjali Mudra. Hold. Humming to come to heart. Mm. to heart mm. one more in Let's gently or easily take our legs forward 
and so we can begin to do a little bit of quick warm up legs forward just relax relax so easing bouncing of your knees your legs give a good shaking now let's bounce forward a little gentle lengthening of our spine easing through as far as we can reach head down to the knees breathe out and breathe in lift up or reach up your arms to the sky and breathe out fold forward Paschimottanthaya let's do two more breathe in and out in and out this time let's hold for three breaths and breathe in lift up your arms reach them to the sky interlock your fingers turn your palms inside out stretch up lengthening up into dandasana and release or relax bring your legs in let's catch hold on to our ankle joints or our feet take a balance on your sitting bones and breathe out ek paad and now kriya right leg extend forward out and release left leg in and release second time in right leg hold out release hold out left leg in hold out hold one more right in hold out hold and left leg in hold and out from here your feet down and gently roll onto your back keeping your knees into your chest hold the weight of your knees your legs here taking a little pause a little moment if you feel comfortable especially with your neck and your back then use your hands behind your buttocks to roll up and bring your knees on top of your head and if you look through your knees your feet are reaching out towards the sky so let your knees rest on your head and you're going to do ek paad sarvanga kriya breathe out breathe in extend or reach your right leg to the sky out and release bring your knee back down second time left leg in and out Let's try again. Right leg in and out, and left leg in, out. One more. Right leg in. This time hold. Hold your breath. Out and release. Hold out. and left leg in hold and out hold and roll back down back to the floor your feet on the floor close to your buttocks now lift your back a little bit and bring your hands beneath your back interlock your fingers and let your body rest on your arms Say to bend the kriya, and we're going to follow Savitri Pranayam. Breathe out, breathe in. Lift your back, your buttocks up. You can rise all the way up on your tiptoes. Hold. Out and roll back down. Hold out. Two more in. And out. Hold. And third one in. 
hold out hold and then release and relax use your momentum to roll up to come back to your seated position again sitting up on your back on your sitting bones let's find our balance on our tailbone and bring your leg your feet up so we're going to do Navakirya with both legs together breathe out in extend your legs forward hold out and release hold two more in hold out hold in hold and out hold and then again gently roll back so we just on our back again taking a little moment a little pause and taking your hands to support your back, your buttocks to roll up to bring both your knees on top of your head again. Our Zanu Sarvangasana, head, knees to the head. And now we're going to do the Kriya with both legs together. Breathe out. In, legs straight, feet to reaching to the sky. And out and bend your knees, bring them back to your head. Two more, breathe in. And hold out, knees down, hold out, one more in, hold and out, hold out, and then roll back down, gently and slowly come back, your feet on the floor alongside your hands down so now we're going to simultaneously work on the lower and the upper body so breathe out setu bandha kriya now as you breathe in begin to lift or raise your back your buttocks up and also move your hands reach them on the floor over your head and hold and breathe out and release roll back down bring your hands alongside your feet Hold out. Two more in. Hold. Up. Hold. In. Hold. Out, hold, and take a little moment to release, to relax. And you ready? Roll back to come back to your seated position again, sitting upright with your legs to the front. So we come back to our Navakriya again. So we're trying to stimulate the prana of the solar plexus. And then we go into inversion. So this time let's have our feet up and bring your hands to your heart in Namaskar Mudra. And breathe out. Breathe in, extend your legs and your arms forward. And out and bring your hands to your heart for you. In, extend. Hold. Out. Hold. And again, in, hold, and out, hold, lovely, and release, feet down, let's just do a little quick twist, so hold on to both your knees with your left hand, take your right hand behind, turn and twist over, and I'd like you to hold that twist for a few conscious breaths here. And release and we switch side twist to the left 
And again, let's hold our twist, couple of conscious breaths. And then release back to the center. And we're going to roll back to go back upside down into our Sarvanga. So back to your lying position with your knees up. And then begin with the Dvi Paduttanasana, double leg lift. Both your legs straight up to the sky. Hold. Follow a few breaths in Dvi Paduttanasana. Now supporting with your hands to rise, to raise your legs, your body straight up to the sky, as high as you can reach and hold Savarasana. And we'll take a couple of breaths here. And you open your knees wide. And join soles of your feet together, allow them to come down towards your tailbone and hold the Baddha Mudra. Can we open our feet, our legs wide apart as if you are trying to do our split here and hold. Love the old really well and follow some conscious breathing. Take your legs together straight up to the sky into shoulder stand. And then if you wish to raise your feet on the floor over your head towards Alasana, as close as you can reach to the earth and hold. And gently roll back down. Double leg lift. Fold your knees into your chest. Wrap your arms around your legs to give them a good squeeze and bring your head to the knee. Pavan Muktasana and hold. And then release head down. Taking your feet back down to the earth. Press your feet down to raise, to lift your back, your buttocks up again. Into Setu Bandhasana. And let's hold for three conscious breaths. And then release or relax. Ease yourself, taking a little moment, a little pause. Cross your legs to come up to seated position. Have a quick sip of water if you need, as it's really important to keep hydrated. Now, one of the, the blockage we have against our heart and our immunity is when we get stuck into our own ego or our perspective or whatever that, that trauma, that sense of clinging comes in. And so let's follow now three rounds of the Brahma Mudra Kriya to open up that perspective and also because we're doing a little bit of inversions to have that ease or letting go of the neck. So your hands can be resting on your knees in Jnana Mudra or Sunya Mudra. So for the right sound A, ah, left U, up E and down M. Mm. First round, I like to do it with eyes open. So open your eyes, breathe out. Breathe in, turn your head towards right shoulder, look behind to the right. A ah, to come back to center. Ah. Up 
and E in E Second round, close your eyes, breathe out, in to the right, and feel your inner self, your inner perspective. Take a pause, take a moment. So we're going to do one more round. This time we're going to follow it with the Savitri Pranayam. So breathe in to the right. Hold. Uh, in hold Ooh. hold up and in hold come back down softly in our heart and feel your heart expanding ever in this space of eternity like a waterfall like a spring flows freely in abundance If you wish to bring our healing color for these practices, this vibrant blue color, it is a beautiful practice from the Zen system, Zen traditions of Therapanthi or Preksha meditation. 
vibrant blue color healing expanding from your heart your chest feel it's flowing in abundance with your blood circulation your pranic circulation in every cell of your body its significance comes from our some of the the concepts like lord shiva we represent him with a blue color as when he drank the hala hala the poison his body changed into blue so this ability to digest the poison and not letting it affect us to so feel that purification that gentle holistic healing from within let's sit quiet together for a few minutes in this vibrant blue healing energy Gently bring your hands to your heart in Namaskar if you're ready. Let's close our practice with the Santi Mantra. Join if you like. Om 
Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Om. Put your hands to warm them up, hold your palms up, and a gentle or soft touch all over your face, then your head, your neck, and your shoulders. And let's gently or slowly open your eyes. Great, namaste. Thank you very much, everyone. Let's 